See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sendry trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Whoa! 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 Cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. An abandoned service tunnel. Switching. <laughs> Another oil spill. Whoa. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Oh! 
take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. His fault Atreus ran off. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. Gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. It's open. sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. That worked. Shall we? This opinion of yours... Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the place is protecting your child. Sigil arrows won't work on this.
dangerous until we stun them. Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping them once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that the wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, it wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. 
We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. Ah, teamwork. Well, who's ready for some fresh air after that? Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Folky! Well, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen. Oh! <laughs> 
Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Okay, looks like that wheel up there opened the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Hmm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crane and cap that guy. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! You kinda need to be up here to use it, you dig? He is in. Turn it! Copy that. Of course now the gate's closed again. Turn it again! Aye aye! Crank cover. You do the other stuff. What? If the angle you needed to find was down there, you'd have found it already. Well, that got the gate open. But you kind of need to be up here to use it. Once more. Aye, aye. Again. Hey, I got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Can we get up any higher from here? Hey, I got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Look around. Find an angle. Ain't 
just what you do? <laughs> hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other <laughs> stuff. Ah, promising. Can ride on up to the board. Come on, the lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger the more you take away? Well, I see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. Stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, what? That's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? The sound of the wind. Now, oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of the thing. Hang on! I smell trouble. Hey, Foxtair! Come on! No! Find you! Look out! What are we doing, butt sausage? Where are we going, huh? So this lady then. The lady of the forge. Ain't no more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it, said a two But today, finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> why, bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? Boy, shut up. No. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Yeah. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll see soon enough. I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessings. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster. Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. 
Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. <laughs> Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like the when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. <laughs> it's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn, and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Your homos forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh. Hello? 
Hello! What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no. I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our home without giving up. We got volunteers! I Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home. We got volunteers! That's the stuff! Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a Spartan learns! What the hell? Ain't this just like old times there? I'm gonna put it more forebodingly myself. what you said back there. 
It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Hey there, left flight. Oh, lick my face. There's eyeball nests all over. Get you. the more you take away. Uh, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No. That's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all... Them eyeballs are taking over them ground. We better beat them out. You don't got what you take. Find you, okay? Let's go! Anybody want to take? Come on! I'm waiting! Well, that was creepy. Look out for long! Bit late for that. you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatosh group whenever you're ready. <laughs> Got one last favor to ask of the both of you and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very well. These are great birds. Maybe those grim will take him down. <laughs> oh. You don't know <laughs> what it takes. <laughs> oh.
those ugly bugs. Maybe those grills take you down. <laughs> 